In this video, we're going to take a look at finding the equation of a line in slope-intercept form. However, we are not going to be given the y-intercept. Here we are asked to find the equation of the line through the point negative 6, 2 with a slope of negative 2 thirds. It wants the answer, though, in slope-intercept form, which normally is y equals mx plus b. However, b is the y-intercept, and we do not know this value. So we're going to have to approach this problem a different way. Instead, what we will do is, since we have a point, negative 6, 2, and a slope, negative 2 thirds, we will use the point-slope formula to get us started instead. This is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Recall that x and y stay in the formula, but x1, y1, and m we should be able to replace with the given information. x1 and y1 are the xy from our point, and m is the slope given to us as well. So we have y minus y1, which is 2, equals m, or the slope of negative 2 thirds, times x minus x1, which is negative 6. Well, subtracting negative 6 is the same as adding positive 6, so I'm just going to write x plus 6. This is now the equation of the line, but it is in point-slope formula. We want slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. In order to get in the correct form, we need to do two things to this equation. First, we'll need to get rid of the parentheses by distributing, as there are no parentheses in intercept form. After distributing, we will have to isolate the y, as the y is all alone in slope-intercept form. Let's do that now. First, we distribute through the parentheses. This gives us y minus 2 equals negative 2 thirds x minus 2 thirds of 6 is 4. We get that by multiplying 2 thirds times 6, putting the 6 over 1, and 6 over 3 reduces to 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Now, we can finally get the y alone by adding 2 to both sides. We are now in slope-intercept form. y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 2. This is the equation of the line in slope-intercept form that will go through the point negative 6, 2 and have a slope of negative 2 thirds. We found this equation by starting with point-slope formula because we did not know the y-intercept. Once we had an equation, we got rid of the parentheses and solved for y, so we were in the correct form that the question was asking for.